Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Death by Mr. Pink, aka Mr. Pink, and today we're going to show you guys how to actually prepare one of these bad boys, the green bell pepper. It's full of vitamins and nutrients. The uh, best actually possible way to actually eat this thing is actually raw itself to get all the vitamins and nutrient content that you would like out of them. Um, a lot of people keep telling me that uh, they don't know how to actually prepare one of these things or they don't know how to cut one of these things properly. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, first things first, I think you guys should know the difference between a male and a female. So, if it has four cloves, it's a female pepper, which is better for stews and long cooking preparations. And you have the male, which has three cloves. The three cloves is actually a whole lot better when you're trying to eat it raw or even for sautéing purposes. The more you know. I'm going to show you guys the way, the traditional way that a lot of people like to actually cut these things. And uh, a lot of people do it this way at home. I'm going to show you guys that way, I'm going to show you guys my way, which is, a, I believe, a whole lot easier and a whole lot better for your presentation purposes. So, stay tuned. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, we got the male pepper, another male pepper, these here, the female pepper. Okay. So, I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways. show you guys the way that normally people actually prep this thing first. Uh, first thing that they would like to do, make sure that your knife is absolutely sharp and you have some knife cutting skills along, along with this. So normally what people will do, they will cut the top, pepper, and then you're left with the seeds, the guts are actually inside the pepper, right? So what they'll do is they'll take their hands, take it and cut it out, and you're left with the seeds with the cord. If you notice, you have all these white veins that are actually inside the pepper, right? I want to try to take as much of this out as possible because this is the bitterest part of the pepper. I'm looking for sweet, not bitter. I'm going to take all of this out, right? And you're left with this. That's something the seeds, right? The seeds. Push them on the side for now. Just like that. Okay. The top and the bottom of the pepper. Normally, if you cut close enough to the top of the pepper, you can take a thumb pull it around and break it apart. You're left with the top of the stem, which you don't want to eat. Which is, and you're left with this. You're going to take a little bit of these seeds out, right here, and you should left with no seeds and just the top. We'll go back to this here in a minute. Okay, then you're left with the hole. Normally what people would like to do when it's cut like this, they make stuff bell peppers out of it. It's really simple. I like using the females too because they're level. They stay in place in the pan. And like the male, well, I just tip them all over. Next thing they'll normally do, cut the bottom off. So now you lift the top and the bottom, you cut this in half, and then you're left with this. And then you want to try to take as much of these veins out as possible. Just like that. So you should be left with a smooth, clean side, and sweet side of the pepper. Same thing. Get a nice julienne or just a natural chop of pepper. Take that down, skin side up. Make sure you're taking your time, watching where this knife is going so you don't cut your fingers or anything. Right? Now you got Julianne's. Take the bottom. Top. Same thing. Now you got nice Julianne's. Just like that. Take these. It's right here for now. 
just like that. tell the difference between these two because this one is shorter and this is where you actually want it to be. You're going for a much longer cut for salads or something much more fruitier. This is the way that you, normally people will do it at home. This is the restaurant style. So. Now, I'm going to do a simple dice so you guys can see the difference here. And I'll do some of those too here in a second so you can see the difference. But, I've got them nice and laid out. Take a knife, gonna hold it. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Backing up every single time you go to cut. It's just that simple. And you got perfect, nice cuts. Absolutely perfect. Same thing. It's a little bit more difficult than trying to do it the home way style. Smaller. Right. Notice how they're smaller, a little ugly, kind of. It's not very uniformic as you do it. So you can see the difference. simple, nice and easy. Uh, probably wonder why would I do with all these peppers since I went and cut them. Well, you guys are going to have to stay tuned to find out what I do with these. I'm not doing some pasta. I'm not showing you a really good quick recipe on how to make some really good pasta using some uh, green bell peppers. Also, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. Make sure you guys hit that notification button. Hit that like button for me. There's wonders for me as a person. Outdoor knowledge too for you guys. 
Bride of the Pepper, the Sweet of That Pepper's going to be. Thank you guys very much. I hope everyone has a wonderful